It's in three dimensions, and as I find the evil villain, I'm able to throw my weapon at the character. The technical term to describe augmented reality is essentially a virtual overlay over real-world objects or situations or environments, which verbally doesn't mean a whole lot, but it gives you the opportunity to say, I can have real-world objects, and then integrate or interact with them in a virtual space or in the virtual space. This is a whole new level of interactivity. The applications are endless. Augmented reality actually changes our reality. It does. It, it changes the way we interact with things. It gives us a new way of interacting with our environment. Um, in academia, the term that's sometimes used is that we're now, having created an internet, we're now creating an internet of things. We're letting things everywhere uh, interact with different pieces of software. This is a game changer for marketing. It's creating almost a, another media or another dimension for organizations to communicate to their customers. So from a retail perspective, think of this as the retailer no longer needs to expand on their, the retail space. They're adding a virtual layer to everything that's actually within that store. Ad Dispatch has clawed its way to the top of the augmented reality world. It is a North American leader. This past February, the company took another bold leap into the future in that augmented reality changes our relationship with physical objects. The next logical step was to create objects that provide an interactive experience. I'm never going to say there's not another app out there that does this um, because there's millions of apps. But I have yet to find another app that derives its revenue not off the sale of a digital asset, right, but off the sale of a of a physical real-world object. The obvious choice, that quintessential item, the t-shirt. We make money when somebody buys the t-shirt. And the reason that they're willing to, and all we've done is the t-shirts that are, that we are, that are being sold are t-shirts that people, people may be buying them just for the t-shirt, right? But the idea is we've created a bit more value so that you'd be willing to spend that extra dollar or two, right? to be able to have a t-shirt that's interactive. This gives a new meaning to the air guitar. The Boostar Apparel product is being helped on its way with a quarter of a million dollar loan from Nova Scotia Business Inc. You can see a lot of young people around here with computer science skills, uh, with specific components around graphic work, 3D modeling. This is an expertise that um, they've been getting through uh, Dalhousie, for example. They have a great relationship with Dalhousie. So what they're able to do is, uh, is keep people here in Nova Scotia. People like Joe Howes, a recent Dalhousie computer science graduate. I think it's very important that the uh, software industry, the computer graphics industry especially, is uh, really taking off in Nova Scotia. Uh, there are actually uh, a lot more opportunities here uh, than there are in many other places in North America and Europe. It will be a challenge to stay on top of the rapidly evolving AR technology, but the rewards are huge. If we're able to maintain our position at the top of the, the, the augmented reality world, over the next two years, our, the company will change drastically. Right? Um, and that's, that's unavoidable. It should, it should grow very, very significantly. I tell kids all the time, if you want to go somewhere else and work, then go, but, but you know, look around Nova Scotia. If you want to stay here, there are some pretty cool things happening, and there's some pretty neat companies, and this is one of them. In Dartmouth, I'm Barb Anderson for Eastlink Magazine. Watch Eastlink Magazine. You'll be glad you did. Eastlink Magazine, brought to you by Nova Scotia.